Praise the Lord. It's been kind of an interesting day because today gardeners come by in the apartment complex and I keep getting noises and I have to shut down and I think I've recorded this twice now and changed each message because <laughs> in the middle of it all of a sudden fire up another blower or something or a lawnmower. But you know I took a chance to and God usually does that, interrupts it, and then I start over because it's something that He once said as opposed to what I'm starting to say. And I've always accepted that you know, from Him as being a blessing because it is His ministry and I've always enjoyed that part of our relationship that I have with Jesus, that He would take control of the circumstances so that what He once said and shared and developed and related, then it's all about Him. And sharing Him is why we do these things every day I really do a lot of work at it. <laughs> but I was fascinated today when I read this because I looked at it a couple times, you know, I read all the scriptures because this is the book of scriptures called Daily Life. It's a collection of scriptures only. But uh, the first one says, Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me. I thought about that. You know, we used to say praise the Lord a lot, you know, and it was cool, you know, it's kind of like, but we never thought of it as, Whoso offereth praise glorifies me. In other words, a lot of times I never thought about it as glorifying Jesus. You know, that this is something that actually glorifies him. That it's not just simply saying, well, praise the Lord. You know, it's kind of, oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and praise him. Hey, thank you, God, you know, and praise him, and, you know, give all those kind of different attitudes or actions or exclamations or point of views or perspectives of praise, you know, to him. You know, but then, if you really started to sit back, you know, and began to realize, you know, what praise is, you know, like, people lots of times will praise their their football stars when they've won a game or won the Super Bowl, you know, they give a parade, you know, and that's praise, you know, praise and adoration, you know. Um, when, you know, somebody wins a game, you know, it's praise, wow, you did such a good job, or, you know, like, when they achieved a goal, they give them rewards, you know, and, it's interesting is that Jesus simply says, Whoso offereth praise glorifies him. And I think, huh, man, of all the awards and all the accolades and everything else, really all God wants from us is simply to praise him. You know? Looking for this bird that just went by, I went, Is that a hummingbird? <laughs> it offers praise. Yeah, because you think about it, that's what birds do. In the morning, they praise the Lord. You know, they sing their praises to the Lord. And I think of that song Amy Grant sang, that sing your praise to the Lord. Come on, everybody, stand up and sing one more. Hallelujah. Give your praise to the Lord. I can never tell you just how much good that it's going to do you sing your praise to the Lord. You know, so singing praise is kind of cool, you know, because there's praise songs that you probably should do. But, you know, I never thought of it as glorifying. And that I really like. That's kind of neat. Kind of gives me a whole different perspective on praise. Let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. You know, that's really something that maybe we should do more of. You know, is I know that people don't want to hear about Jesus. I know that they don't want to talk about Jesus, but maybe we should do more of that. Maybe we should talk more about Jesus. Maybe we should thank Jesus, you know. And I know that it was such a big sensation for the Tebos and the Jeremy Lims and the, you know, different Christians at different times, Kirk Cameron and whatever, to come out with their faith and make a statement. But Really, if we just acted like it was a normal thing and just did it like, hey, yeah, praise the Lord, you know, I was talking to Jesus, you know. Just kind of made it a part of our normal conversation, you know, as opposed to always making it a spiritual thing between separations and, you know, delegations and, you know, that's for Sunday and this is for Monday. Why not just make it every day, you know? Just simply say, well, praise the Lord. You know, I mean, if somebody comes up to me, you know, and I'm in the job now, you know, I... I Frankly, you know, somebody would say something to me and I'd probably say, pop off with praise the Lord. You know, that's cool. You know, just mix the two. I don't have a problem with it. I know ministries, lots of times, or professional businesses will say, well, you know, you don't want to be, you know, religious because that offends somebody. How could praise the Lord offend somebody? 
You know, it's not about them praising the Lord. It's about me praising the Lord. I'm just praising Him. I don't really care what you do. <laughs> I'm not witnessing to you. I'm just praising the Lord. <laughs> You're on your own, buddy. <laughs> so, I don't know about you, but, you know, I kind of like that idea. You know, I think it's like, yeah, maybe you'll get fired. Maybe you get canned, you know. <laughs> but for me, eh, nah, what the heck. There's always another job somewhere. I'm just going to praise the Lord. You are a royal priesthood that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. By him let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. You know, that is the other thing that, you know, we need more thankfulness, you know. Thank God for the storm. Thank God for the trials. Thank God for the circumstances. Thank God for your wife. Thank God for your kids. Thank God for, even if you went through a divorce, and divorce. Thank God for your remarriage. Thank God for your church. Thank God for your brethren. Thank God for your cancer, if you got it. Thank God for your healing, if you did. If you didn't, thank God for that, too. But giving thanks for God, you know, being alive and well and doing as He chooses in the circumstances of our life is something that we should be doing more so. As we give thanks and praise for who He is, not because of what the circumstances are, but just simply because God is God and we know that He's alive. My God is alive. Surely He is not dead. You know, and they, they call it roaring like a lion, but I'm kind of like, eh, you know. And it's like the idea that God is alive, you know. Some of these songs are kind of fun, but sometimes they go a little too far for me. But, I, you know, it's okay. It's cool. It's another generation, you know, bringing up their way of saying it. But I like to think of it as being, let's make sure that we live our life thankful. That we give our day to praise. That we don't be a attitude of depression and recession and, you know, re reminding ourselves of just how miserable we are. Instead of how wonderful it is, man, you know, the world's coming, dig it, isn't it great? Yeah, everything's falling apart, getting rid of all this man-made junk and gonna trash it, gonna, you know, like the Harley's gonna burn. Oh, man, can't wait for that fire. <laughs> Get rid of all that distraction. Woohoo! You know, be in heaven. Woo, yeah! Then come back, you know, and it's all cleansed, purified. All right! You think they're gonna reinvent Harley's in the kingdom of God? I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry! Ain't gonna happen. But, you know, I guess for you Harley writers, and I like to pick on you, <laughs> but for the Harley writers, well, at least you get it now, right? Your cake can eat it too. Praise the Lord for Harleys. Hey, yeah. <laughs> no, I praise the Lord for Jesus Christ. And I praise the Lord that we can give thanks for Harleys and give thanks for what God has blessed us with, but also give thanks for what God hasn't done yet or is doing still and working in us to accomplish his purposes because thanks and praise really will change your attitude it will change your heart it will change your mind I think of that song that says give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ our Lord Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ the Lord. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what? the Lord has done for us give thanks well at least that reminds you of what the song's supposed to sound like sort of <laughs> but you can do it you know how so go do it give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ our Lord <laughs>